Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to unravel yarn when it's in this form. Ideally, you're going to ravel it up into a ball like this. Uh, it's much bigger. See, I'm, I'm knitting something and I'm running out of yarn, so I'm going to have to ravel up a new ball. So, maybe people have told you to use a chair, the back of a chair. Wrong. Use the back of two chairs, like this. This would be as if the grandfather's hands are holding the yarn, and then the grandmother's raveling. Maybe you've seen that scene in movies or whatever. So you need two chairs. This would be the equivalent of the two hands. If you put it on the back of one chair, it's no good because it's, it gets tangled up. So first, you know, uh, open up the thing and hook it over the chairs the two chairs and stretch it up as stretch it out as far as it will go. The second step is to find the end pieces. Now usually there's another type of string that's tied in it. Here I found it. This is it is not the same as the yarn. It's a different string. So untie that. See, it's not the same as the yarn. And then over here, I'll move the camera to make sure to see it. Here it appears the ends are. Yeah, there's the end. The two ends are knotted together. So it's one long string that's been wrapped around, and then the two ends are finally tied together. So make sure you don't lose the end, the two ends. And then unwrap it. Once you get this part, It'll be a little easier. Okay, and there we go. There's the end. Here's the other end. So you can just leave that hanging. And here's the end to begin with. And at this point, you just start wrapping. I start wrapping around my finger. And then when I have enough, I start just wrapping it. And at this point, you just wrap. See, just the ball is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. If you don't do it this way, it usually starts to get all tangled up and you'll be very frustrated, guarantee, especially when it's an expensive yarn like this one happens to be. This is Shetland wool, which is a very soft wool and it's blended with a little bit of silk. So it's quite pricey. And if you've ever had to deal with tangled up yarn, you'll know that you'll never want that to happen to you again. It's very frustrating. Starts to fly off, put it back. You have to keep it in that square shape around the chairs. It's okay. There's very little left, so it kind of came out off. That's all right as long as it doesn't get all tangled up. There we go. We're just about done. Now it all fell off, but there's such a little amount left that it probably won't get tangled. And if it does, well, it'll be easy to undo. There we go. And then, here's the little knot that was from the beginning. Remember the knot? I just cut that off. Some people like to try to untie it. I just, it's just a little amount. There you go. Now you're ready to knit.